Hello everyone, so in the previous lesson we've been looking at plus and minus. Now we need to see how times and divide works. So for example, if I say 3 times minus 2, obviously 3 times 2 is 6. Then what you do is you count the number of negatives that you see between those two numbers. There's only one. Now one negative is odd, and so odd is, then, then we said in the previous lesson that if it's odd then your answer is a negative. So if I have minus 3 times minus 2, obviously 3 times 2 is 6, but now you have two negatives. Two negatives, or 2, is a even number, and so the answer is positive. So if I have 10 times minus 2 times minus 1, now all of a sudden I can say 10 times 2 times 1, which is 20, then I count the number of negatives, there are two of them, and so the answer is positive. I can then say 3 times minus 2 times minus 4 times minus 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, times 4 is 24, times 2 is 48. Then I can count the negatives, there are 1, 2, 3, and so the answer is minus 48. The same is true for divide, 10 divided by 2 is 5, there is one negative, and so the answer is minus 5. Now I'm going to practice sums that have pos uh, plus, minus, times, and divide. All right, so now remember with bod mass, times and divide, multiply or multiply and divide comes before add and subtract. So let's look for multiplies and divides first. Well, here's one, and here's one long one. So what I would do is I would say 3 minus, then 2 times 4 is 8, then I'm just going to write down this minus over here. And now 3 times 4 is 12, times 2 is 24. So I'm going to write down, oh, but then we need to look at. So we've already written this minus down, that's over here. So we just need to look at these two minuses, and there's two of them. Two negatives is a positive, and so this, is, this answer is going to be minus 24. Now we can move from left to right. So now we're only plusing and minusing. So if you have 3 rand, and then you have to pay a total of 8 rand, you're going to have minus 5. If you have minus 5 rand, and then you have to pay someone another 24 rand, you are going to be very negative, minus 29. But Kevin, I thought you said that two negatives give you a positive. Yes, guys, but that's only when the negatives are next to each other. For example, when you have something like this. 3 minus minus 2. So here you have a minus and a minus next to each other. But when it's just minus 5 minus 24, then you don't say, oh, a minus and a minus is a plus. All right, so when you look at bod mass, times and divide comes before plus and minus. So let's look for the times and divides first. Here's one over here, and then you can put a box around it. And then here's another one here, and you can put a box around it. Everything else, you can write it down as per normal, so that's plus, minus, 2, even this minus, there's no box around that. Now 7 times 4 is just 28, plus 2, plus, yeah, even put the plus over there. Now what would this answer be? Well, it's 3 times 2, which is 6, but there's one negative, so that's going to be minus 6, so I can write down minus 6. Don't worry about that for now. Now I can get rid of the, now I can do the pluses and the minuses, but let's do the negative first, I mean the bracket first. So that, there's a plus and a minus next to each other, and we said in the previous lesson that when you have a plus and a minus next to each other, it's just a minus. Now we have another plus and minus next to each other, so that's just a minus. Now we move from left to right, because there's only pluses and minuses. You don't say, oh, there's a negative and a negative, so that's a positive. No, it's only when they're next to each other, or if you are multiplying. So if you owe someone 8 rand, and then you owe someone another 2 rand, then you owe 10 rand. I'm just going to write everything down. See, I only like to do one step at a time. If you owe someone 10 rand, and then you owe another 28 rand, you now owe 38 rand. So you're, in the, you're very negative. Now you owe someone 38 rand, and then another person gives you 2 rand. Okay, well that's a little better, because now you only owe 36 rand. So now you owe 36 rand, and then you owe another 6 rand, because it's minus, and so you owe a total of 42 rand. So this entire answer is minus 42. Here's another one. So remember, times and divide comes first. So you put a box around them. Don't include the negative. Just put a box like this. And then all of this is times. So you can put a nice big box around that. 
everything else you just write it as normal. All right, two times four is eight minus three plus. Now see, because I said plus because of because that plus was already there. So now six times two is twelve times three is thirty six. How many minuses do we see there? Well, there's one and two. That's an even number, so it's going to be simply it's simply going to be thirty six. Now I simply move from left to right, so minus three. So you owe someone three rand. Then you owe another 8 rand, so now you owe a total of 11 rand. Then you owe 11 rand, and now you owe another 3 rand, so now you owe a total of 14 rand. If you owe a total of 14 rand, and then someone gives you 36 rand, that will allow you to pay your 14 rand, and then you'll still have 22 rand left over for yourself. That makes sense, right? Because if you owe 14 rand, and then someone gives you 36 rand, you can pay off your 14 rand to the people who you owe, and then there would still be some leftovers. Okay, here we go. So put a box around all the times and divide. So there's a times, there's a times, and all of this is a times. Great, then everything else, you just write it down. So there's a minus, so I put a minus. Then two times four is eight plus. Now I look at these two, so that's eight times by two, which is 16. There's one negative there. One negative makes the answer negative. So that answer in that box is minus 16. Don't worry about this plus and minus next to each other. We know how to fix that just now. Then if we look here, we've got four times one times two, which is eight. And then there's one negative. Notice I'm not counting this negative in the front. It's not inside my box. And so I've got four times one and then times two. So that whole thing is eight. There's one negative. So that's negative 8. Oh, but I should write this minus down first, and then this answer inside that pink box is also minus 8. So now I can quickly fix the minuses and the pluses. So if you have a plus and a minus next to each other, just make it a minus. And if you have a minus and a minus, there's two of them, so that becomes a positive. Now you move from left to right. If you owe someone 8 rand, if you owe someone 8 rand, then you owe another person 16 rand, well, you owe a total of 24 rand. Then someone comes along and they give you 8 rand. And so you still owe people money, but you only owe them 16 rand. And so there we have it, guys. That's that lesson. I hope that that makes sense.